so uh, we'll discuss about fourier series and its expansion and fourier transform a uh, fourier sine and uh, fourier cosine transform and some uh, properties of fourier transform uh, such as we'll discuss about the shifting theorem and uh, some other properties of fourier transform and uh, we'll discuss how we will calculate the fourier transform of some derivative functions and uh, then we'll uh, do some examples so we'll move towards the introduction part so basically the fourier series and infinite series and uh, that contains some uh, uh, properties of cosine and sine series okay and these type of fourier series are very important uh, in the engineering and the physicist because they help to find out the solution of linear differential equation and sometimes partial differential equations okay and uh, uh, the fourier series was was given by the baron jean webson joseph fourier and uh, basically it gives uh, about the periodic function that how can it can be represented by uh, by a function of series of sines and cosines and uh, it is the photograph of uh, this uh, fourier uh, sir and uh, now we'll move towards the fourier series okay basically uh, before going to know the, about the fourier series we will have a uh, and idea about the periodic function basically a, a function is called a periodic function if it is defined as that fx plus p equal to fx means uh, where the p is a positive number and uh, you know that uh, that uh, different types of cosine sine and tangent and uh, cot functions are the periodic function whereas the x x square x cube e raised to power x cos hyperbolic x functions are not a periodic function so for a periodic function if we denote that f x plus p the so uh, if f x has a period of p so it has also a period of 2p means if we add a p or a number again in this function it will also show a periodic function Uh, so in general we can say that if x plus n p then it must be a periodic function that it it is equal to f x so this is uh, about the periodic function so a fourier series is defined as an expansion of a real function of sines and cosine function in such a way suppose this is a uh, fourier series expansion and we can represent it as f x equal to a not by two plus summation of n equal to 1 to infinity an cos nx plus summation over n equal to 1 to infinity bn sin nx where a not this one an and bn are the constants of fourier coefficients and for these all terms the period should be 2 pi now we'll see how the fourier coefficients a not an and bn are defined these are defined as a not from here a not is defined as 1 upon 2 pi integration minus pi 2 plus pi fx dx similarly the an the next coefficient an is defined as 1 upon pi integration minus pi 2 plus pi fx cos nx dx where n is from 1 to infinity and bn is defined as 1 upon pi integration minus pi 2 plus pi fx sin nx dx so these are the uh, different fourier coefficient by using this we can expand a function fourier series now uh, this is the condition where the period is 2 pi but uh, what happens if the period is 2 l or something else so for this the formula changes as the fourier series let us suppose it is for the period of minus l2 plus l so the fourier series changes as fx equal to a not by 2 plus summation of n equal to 1 to infinity an cos n pi x by l plus summation of n equal to 1 to infinity bn sin sin n pi x by l and this whole series is obtained for a function which, uh, which have a period of 2l so uh, here again we have a not an and bn are the fourier coefficients and they are defined as a not equal to 1 by l integration minus l to l ft dt whereas an is 1 upon l integration of minus l to plus l fx cos n pi x by l dx and bn is 
वन बाई एल इंट्रीगेशन माइनस एल टू प्लस एल एफ एक्स साइन एन पाई एक्स बाई एल सो दीज आर दोरियर कोफिशियंट एंड बाई यूजिंग दिस कोफिशियंट वी कैन कैलकुलेट द फोरियर सीरीज सो लेट इज डू सम एग्जाम्पल हेयर इज अग्जाम्पल वी हैव टू डिटर्मिन द फोरियर सीरीज ऑफ अ फंक्शन एफ एक्स इक्वल टू वन माइनस एक्स स्क्वायर एंड इन द इंटरवल रेंज ऑफ माइनस वन टू प्लस वन so we know that the fourier series expand as fx that is equal to a not where uh, a not is a fourier coefficient plus summation of n equal to 1 to infinity an cos n pi x pi l plus summation over n equal to 1 to infinity bn sin n pi x pi l now we have to calculate the fourier coefficient first we will calculate fourier coefficient a not a not and we know the formula 1 upon 2l integration of minus l to plus l fx dx similarly we have another formulas we have a not sorry an equal to 1 upon l integration of minus l to plus l fx cos n pi x pi l dx similarly bn 1 by l integration of minus l to plus l fx sin n pi x pi l dx now we have to put the value of fx and here fx is 1 minus x square okay so by putting the value of 1 minus x square we'll get fx equal to 1 upon 2l where l is this one 1 so we'll write 1 and integration is from minus l to l means Minus one to plus one. This one is f x one minus x square d x plus summation over n equal to one to infinity. Again, you will write it here one by l. Again, l is one one by one. Integration of minus one to plus one. F x is one minus x square. Then we have cos n pi x pi l. Okay. Then we'll move towards the diff. Uh, the second one. This one is the b n part. Then we have write integration of n equal to one to infinity and one by l integration one minus sorry one minus one is minus l to l and then we'll put the value of sine n pi x pi l. Now we'll integrate it in Fourier series. It is very important. Uh, you have a very good command in integration. Uh, now when you will integrate it, you will get the Fourier series expansion. and this one is the fourier series so it is very easy that uh, you first you have to write the fourier series and then you move towards the uh, uh, calculating the different coefficient as a a0 a0 a, uh, an and bn and then uh, you will find out the fourier series here i have mentioned some important integration result that will help you to um, further integrate the different function so you have to uh, remember these functions as the integration from 0 to infinity you can write in in your notebook from uh, 0 to infinity e raised to power ax sin bx dx equal to e raised to power ax upon a square plus b square a sin bx minus b cos bx now next one is from 0 to integration infinity e raised to power ax cos bx dx equal to e raised to power ax upon a square plus b square a cos bx plus b sin bx and zero, integration 0 to infinity sin ax upon x dx equal to pi by 2 and integration 0 to infinity e raised to power minus x square dx equal to root pi by 2 an integration minus infinity to plus infinity sin mx upon x minus b whole square plus a square dx equal to pi by a e raised to power am sin bn okay so these are very important result that will help you to calculate uh, integration easily in fourier transform so we'll move towards the fourier transform as we have studied about the laplace transform similarly there is a transform is known as the laplace transform and the definition or the formula for fourier transform is fx equal to 1 upon root 2 pi integration minus infinity to plus infinity e raised to power minus isx fs ds where fs is known as the fourier transform of fx whereas the 
एफ एक्स इज नोन एज द इनवर्स फूरियर ट्रांसफॉर्म ऑफ एफ एस सो वी कैन इजिली कैलकुलेट द फूरियर ट्रांसफॉर्म बाय पुटिंग और बाय यूजिंग दिस इक्वेशन सो बेसिकली द फूरियर ट्रांसफॉर्म इज अ टूल दैट ब्रेक्स द वेब फॉर्म और द सिग्नल इन टू द अल्टरनेट रिप्रेजेंटेशन इन टर्म्स ऑफ साइंस एंड को साइंस एंड you can see that uh, this mathematical function uh, decomposes a wave from from a function uh, of a uh, time dependent to the frequency again as uh, laplace also changes the function from time to frequency and the fourier also changes the function from time to frequency domain okay so we'll move towards the fourier tra sine transform so uh this one is the expression that how we will uh, transform fourier sine transform so uh that fs equal to fs capital fs of fx means you have you are calculating the fourier sine transform and the formula for that is uh, square root of 2 upon pi integration of 0 to infinity ft sin st tp and the fourier cosine transform is fx equal to एफ एस एफ एस इक्वल टू एफ सी ऑफ एफ एक्स इक्वल टू हेयर वी राइट फॉर एस फॉर साइन टर्म एंड सी फॉर कोसाइन टर्म इक्वल टू स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ टू अपॉन पाई इंट्रीगेशन ऑफ जीरो टू इन्फिनिटी एफ टी कॉस एस टी सो दीज टू फॉर्मुला इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर चेंजिंग द फोरियर साइन ट्रांसफॉर्म एंड फॉर फोरियर कोसाइन टर्म्स ट्रांसफॉर्म so we'll do some uh, questions important questions regarding the fourier transform and fourier cosine and sine transform okay so uh, let us take this example we have to find out the fourier transform of a function f equal to e is to power minus ax square okay and we you know that the fourier transform is defined as f of fx equal to 1 upon root 2 pi integration of minus infinity to plus infinity f x e is to power i s x d x okay now the f x is e is to power a x square so we'll write here f of means fourier transform of e is to power minus a x square equal to 1 upon root 2 pi integration of minus infinity to plus infinity e is to power minus a x square into e is to power i s x d x so we uh, will add this as the basis same so we'll have 1 upon root 2 pi integration of minus infinity to plus infinity e raised to power minus ax square plus isx dx now uh, our main motto is to solve this integration so we'll use some trick for solving this integration we will add and subtract something and will convert to some particular integral type form so This f equal to integration of e raised to power minus a x square equal to one upon root two pi integration minus infinity to plus infinity c. Now we have to change it. So if we add or subtract something in this, there will be no change. So we will add minus s square plus a square and again subtract something means same s square minus upon four a from this equation. So we'll get this. e is to power minus a x square minus s square by 4 a plus i s x plus s square by 4 a d x. So you can see that e is to power this one a x square and this i s x s square upon 4 a will change as minus x root a minus i s upon 2 root a ka whole square and this minus s square By four a is as as it is here, okay. And other terms are same. One upon root two pi and integration all are same. So uh, you can write it for here of uh, e raised to power a x square equal to this much. And uh, this e raised to power s square upon four a is constant, so we can uh, take it outside the integration. So we'll have. Uh, remaining with this term, e, Fourier of e raised to power minus a x square equal to this much. Now we'll do some substitution. We'll put x root 
a that is like minus i s a upon 2 root a s u so we'll change we have to change that dx also so the dx will be du upon root a in this expression so we'll put these values in this equation and we'll have e raised to power s square upon 4a upon root 2a is constant and integration of minus infinity to plus infinity e raised to power minus u square du so you know uh, i have already mentioned uh, the value of this integration as root pi so we'll directly put this value in this equation so we'll get fourier transform of e raised to power ax square equal to e raised to power s square upon 4a upon root 2 pi a is as it is and the value of this integration is root pi so finally we'll get the fourier transform of this function as e raised to power minus s square upon 4a upon root 2 a i think that will be clear to all of you so we'll move towards some difficult type of question we have to find out the fourier transform of this function this one is fx equal to 2 for mod x less than a and 0 for mod x is greater than a now you have to uh, find out the fourier transform of this type of function you can see that uh, the formula for fourier transform is given by this much 1 upon root 2 pi integration of minus infinity to plus infinity fx e raised to power e raised to power sx dx okay so uh you have to just put the fx value from here uh, if you have a idea about mod x mod x means minus x is less than a and for uh, plus x is less than a so the limit changes here from minus infinity to plus infinity from minus a to plus a and for the other values you can see that the function is zero so we will move or we will uh, restrict towards only minus a to a and the function is 2 at this point so you'll have 1 upon root 2 pi integration of minus a to plus a to e raised to power i s x dx okay now you have to solve it again you can uh, 2 is constant you can put it outside the integration you will have 2 upon root 2 pi integration of minus a to plus a e raised to power i s x dx now by solving uh, the integration you will get e i s x upon i s and the limit is minus a to plus a and uh, from this you will get 2 root pi and is is again constant you can put outside and you will have e raised to power i s a minus e raised to power minus i s a so uh, you can see that it is some uh, something sign type term but uh, 2 i is 2 is missing as i is already here so we'll uh, divide and uh, multiply 2 uh, in this equation so you'll have 4 upon root 2 pi s e i a s minus e raised to power minus i a s upon 2 i. So we'll have this one is sine a s. So you can see that the result is 4 upon root 2 pi s sine of a s. And by simplifying it, you can uh, see the result 2 upon root 2 by pi sine s a upon s. So you can see that. uh the fourier transform is very easy but you have to you have a very uh, good command on integration now uh, let us do some uh, just a one minute uh now uh, we will do some questions uh, regarding the uh, sine and cosine transform and you know the formula of sine and cosine terms Uh, just one minute now we have a uh, another question you have to calculate the uh, uh, find out the fourier sine transform of 1 by x okay so uh, what you have to do you have to just use the formula and you know the fourier sine transform formula is fs fx equal to Root two upon pi integration of zero to infinity f x sine s x d x. Okay, where the f x value is one by x. Okay, so put one by x in this equation, you'll get root two pi integrate. Uh, sorry, root two pi 
integration of 0 to infinity 1 by x sin sx dx. Now you will have to do some substitution for in, uh, doing integration. So we'll put sx equal to t. So dx equal to dt by s. So put all the values in this equation. You'll get root 2 pi integration of 0 to infinity 1 by x is 1 by x put the value of 1 by x t so sin sx again sin sx is t you will put t here and the dt by sorry you will put the value of dx dx is dt by s okay so you'll uh, remain with this function you have and you know the value of particular integral. I have already told you in this important result. These values, integration 0 to infinity sin ax upon x dx equal to pi by 2. And this one is root pi by 2. So you'll get from this, you'll get the value of integration 0 to infinity sine t by t dt equal to pi by 2. So, you'll directly put this value integration here. So, the root, uh, the uh, Fourier sine transform of 1 by x is this root under root 2 by pi, pi by 2. And by solving this, you will get the Fourier sine transform of 1 by x is root pi by 2. Now we'll do one more question. You have to calculate the fine, uh, uh, the Fourier sine transform of e raised to power ax. Again, you have to directly use the formula. Fourier sine transform of fx is fx, fx equal to, you know the formula, root 2 pi, 2 by pi, integration of 0 to infinity, fx sine sx dx. Now putting the value of fx in this equation, you will get fs e raised to power minus ax equal to in, uh, uh, square root of 2 by pi integration 0 to infinity e raised to power minus ax sine sx dx. fx is e raised to power minus ax. Now solve this equation or integration by part, you will get this equation. Okay. Basically, you have to just solve this by using this formula. This is as integration of 0 to infinity e raised to power, this form is exactly this form. Just see this. Integration of 0 to infinity e raised to power ax. Here, a is changes by minus a sine bx or sine sx dx. You know the formula. e raised to power ax upon a square plus b square a sine bx minus cos b cos bx. Okay, so by uh, using uh, limits, you will get root 2 by pi and this term will be 0 as e raised to power minus infinity is 0 and e raised to power 0 will give some value. So the first term when we you put the, uh, the limit for e raised to power infinity, that will be 0 and you will remain with the next term with the e raised to power 0 terms, you will have 1 upon a square plus s square minus s. So by solving this, you will get this much. So, these are very important transformation. And the last question, um, you have to calculate the Fourier cosine transform of this function fx equal to 5 e raised to power minus 2x plus 2 e raised to power minus 5x. Again, you know the formula. You have to just put this value in this equation. So, you'll get uh, Fourier cosine form of fx is root 2 by pi integration of 0 to infinity 5 e raised to power minus 2x plus 2 e raised to power minus 5x cos sx. So again, you will um, um, put the constant terms outside the integration. You will get this root 2 pi 5 is constant. And in this case, 2 is constant. So you will get this much equation root 2 by pi 5 integration 0 to infinity e raised to power minus 2x cos sx dx plus square uh, square root of 2 by pi 2 is constant integration of 0 to infinity and e raised to power 5x cos sx as it is and you know from the particular integral the value of, of this function 0 to in infinity e raised to power ax cos bx dx equal to e raised to power ax 
अपॉन ए स्क्वायर प्लस बी स्क्वायर ए कॉस बी एक्स माइनस बी साइन बी एक्सर फॉर दिस केस ए इज माइनस टू एंड फॉर दिस केस ए इज माइनस फाइव सो by solving uh, by using this equation you can solve this integration as this so this one is the result part of this function uh, this equation you will get this function and on putting the value of uh, limits from 0 to infinity for infinity case the function will be zero so for infinity case this function this is zero again this is zero for infinity and you will remain with uh, only the for the limit zero you will get the result so this is for the uh, when you put uh, x as zero you will get this result and for in this term when you put x equal to zero you will get this result so by solving this you can get the result or you can get the cosine transform of this function so you can see that these are very easy if you have remember the formula or you know the integration properly now you uh, i will move towards some uh, important properties of fourier transform the important properties of fourier transform are linear property as we have already discussed in uh, laplace transform the fourier transform is also have a uh, linearity property suppose we have f1 s and f2 s are the fourier transform of function f1x and f2x so uh, if we have a fourier transform of a f1x plus b f2x then you can write it a f1s plus b f2s this is the proof of this so fs as it is defined as 1 upon root 2 integration of minus infinity to plus infinity fx e raised to power isx dx and f1s so in case in case of fx we will write it f1x for f2s f2s in case of we will write f2x so we'll get these functions and a and b are the constant so we'll get f equal to a f1x plus b f2x equal to 1 upon root 2 pi integration minus infinity to infinity a f1x plus b f2x e raised to power i s x and you know that integration also have a linear property so uh, we can separate it so a root a 1 upon root 2 pi integration minus infinity to plus, plus infinity f1x e raised to power i s x dx plus b of 1 upon root 2 pi integration minus infinity to plus infinity f2s e raised to power i s x and this one is f1s so you will have a f1s plus b of f2s means fourier transform also satisfy the linear property similarly it also uh, satisfy the change of scale property as we have discussed in laplace transform so uh, uh, suppose this is a uh, you know this is a fourier transform function fs equal to 1 upon root 2 pi integration minus infinity to plus infinity fx e raised to power i s x if we put ax equal to t so you will have ax equal to t means dx equal to dt by a so you will put these values in this equation and you will have 1 upon root 2 pi integration minus infinity to plus infinity f of ax equal to e raised to power i s x dx and uh, means e, if the function is ax type then it will have a change of scale property so you will have 1 upon root 2 pi integration of minus infinity to plus infinity ft e raised to power i you will put, put s in place of x you will put t by a and dx equal to dt by a so dt by a and you will have 1 upon a root to 1 upon this 1 upon a is constant so we will put outside the integration so you will have 1 upon a uh, root to pi integration of minus infinity to plus infinity ft e raised to power i s by a t dt so you can write it this fs 1 upon a and this one is f of s by a so uh, the fourier transform also supports a change of a scale property now we we'll move towards the shifting property um, as in case of uh, laplace we have seen that if you have a function type uh, multiply by exponential term it will uh, satisfy the uh, shifting property the same condition uh, will be happen in the, the fourier transform case suppose this is a function you know the fourier transform function 
and the function is of x minus a type. So you can uh, write in place of fx, you will write fx minus a. So you'll have one upon root two pi integration minus infinity to plus infinity f of x minus a e raised to power i s x dx. You put x minus a equal to u, so you'll get x equal to u plus a and dx equal to du. So we'll substitute the values of x and dx in this equation. You will have one upon root two pi integration of minus infinity to plus infinity f of x minus a is u f of u e raised to power i s u plus a d so i e a s is um, constant so you put outside the integration you'll have e raised to power i s a one upon root two pi integration minus infinity to plus infinity f of u e raised to power i s u d so this is the fourier transform of s this much and you'll have the extra term e raised to power i s. So similarly, if you have an exponential term, there will be a shifting property in Fourier transform also. Now, if you have the Fourier transform, if you have to calculate the Fourier transform of a derivative, so how you will calculate? This is the formula means if you have uh, if you have the f n x type of function means it may be double derivative, triple derivative, uh, different type of function. So you'll use this formula minus i s power n f s. So uh, by using this formula, you can uh, calculate the trans Fourier transform of derivative. So here are some. So by using uh, these properties, you can calculate easily calculate the Fourier transform, Fourier sign transform and Fourier cosine transform. Here are some questions for you. You can take a snap or I will send uh, these questions in uh, our WhatsApp group. And these are the answers of these questions. You can uh, calculate them and then check these questions, uh, whether, it are, uh, whether your questions are uh, answers are wrong or uh, correct. So thank you so much.